What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect. In this video, I'm going to show how you can create projected matte paintings for moving shots using Photoshop Generative Fill and Blender 3D. This effect is super simple and it's just one example of how AI is going to become our assistant in creating digital effects for film and video. To start, you will need an image sequence of your live action shot. Open up Blender and navigate to the motion tracking workspace. Import your sequence and then click on the Set Scene Frames button to make sure Blender has included all of your movie sequence in the project settings. Now 3D track your shot inside of Blender and solve the camera. 3D camera tracking is the process of telling the 3D camera inside of the computer how your live action shot was moving so that you can match the movement of any CG elements that you add to that of the moving live action shot. This process itself is a bit more tedious for a quick video like this one, so if you don't know this process, I have another tutorial link for your consideration in the description below. Once you've tracked your footage and positioned your 3D camera, it's time to create your matte painting inside of Photoshop on a specific frame of your sequence. In this case, I want to add a crater to my scene, so I'll choose a frame with a high angle where the interior of the crater will be seen by the camera. This way we have all of the texture data needed to create a successful camera projection with no need for extensive cleanup. In this case, I will use frame 298. Now open up the image from frame 298 in Photoshop Beta, and let's start creating our matte painting on this frame. Since we're going to add a crater to our scene, I will select the lasso tool and draw around the area where I want the crater to be. Then I'll click on the Generative Fill button on our main floating toolbar, tell Photoshop to add a crater to this area, and click on Generate. After a moment, Photoshop should offer a few different results based on your prompt in the right window. But if you don't like any of the results, you can prompt Generative Fill again and get some more to choose from or make further adjustments or tweaks. After you get a result that you like, save your new image again as a PNG with a new name. Now back inside of Blender, go to Camera View on the frame you created your matte painting for and add the matte painting you have created as a background image in your Camera View settings. Roughly model the crater with some geometry and line up this new 3D reconstruction to where it will be in the scene. Subdivide the geometry several times to help with the texture projection we're about to do and go into proportional editing mode to line up the final details of the geometry that you have created. At this point, it's time to project our matte painted image onto the geometry we have created. To do this, we will add a new material to our crater geometry with an emission shader. Then we can choose our generated matte painting image as our texture for this material. Change the vector type to UV and then go into edit mode to select all of your vertices on your model. Press U and then select project from view while you're in camera view on the frame that you have created your matte painting for. At this point, you've successfully projected your matte painting onto the 3D geometry you've created in your scene, which can provide decent parallax to promote realism in both distant and mid-ground set extensions. Add some final tweaks with compositing and you can get some really nice results. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Subscribe to Light Architect if you're interested in more visual effects and filmmaking content, and I'll see you next time.